On the uh, board, once they're all installed right here, this one down here at the very bottom is going to be the bottom right hand. This is going to be where the power is going to connect to it and uh, where the common and ground will be connected. So this is the one that we just now made. It's got the one foot on both sides. They're all connected together. I need to put my ground on here and this ground is uh, 20 inches. So one end of it simply needs to be stripped off. The other end, we're going to roll over and connect it onto the inside of this one. This is going to be connected to our power cord. So this will be the common for all of them. All six sets are going to be connected together. So this one goes here. So as I say, this wire and this one are going to be connected to the power cord. On the other end right here, this ground is going to come out of the box and be connected with the others here. So all three of these will be connected, the grounds will. On the opposite side, same story. All three of these will be connected together. And then the one on the inside will be connected to the power cord. As we come down from the, like I say, the bottom right to the middle right, the common wire here is simply going to go up to the next box and connect onto that socket there. Down in the next set, this wire here is going to be connected onto that set. It's a 20 inch, and we have a 24 inch on the opposite side of it that's going to come across and connect onto this one on the opposite side. Over here, this common will go up to the next set. This common will go up to the next set, and that's the way they go together. So let's go ahead and put them in the gang boxes. Doesn't matter which box, all these are now all the same. So I'm just going to set them in the boxes and then put the boxes back down again. So now we get to get all these wires out through the front of this box. So your commons and your ground, and then the hot wires. This will take you a couple of minutes, because there's a lot of wires there to try to get out through these holes. So just have a little patience and get them through there. Like I say, this will take me a minute, so I'll be right back as soon as I get all these through this one box, and then we'll go on from there. Now that we've got them shoved into all six of the boxes, and as I said before, the sockets are not yet screwed down. They're just sitting here loose because we've got to run wires from one box to the next. This one here is the bottom right. This one bottom left. So now I'm going to take the board and I'm going to shove them all through here. And as soon as I get them in, they're going on this way. As soon as I get them shoved through here, I'll be right back again because there's nothing really to it, but it just takes a minute and it's kind of boring. But all we got to do is just shove them up through here like that. And then I have to tighten up the tabs on the boxes to hold them in place. 
For that, I'll use a drill. All right. I'm just tightening the four screws now. And as I say, when you tighten them, they stand up. And just pull them right up against the board. Don't pull real tight. You don't want to break anything. There's one on the bottom. And the bottom one on the other side. So once we've got them all in, I'll be right back. The boxes are all in now and tightened down. So now we're going to run the wires from one to the next. Now, as I've said before, this is simply the way that I'm connecting them together. You can do it however it looks the easiest to you. But you have to have all of your grounds connected and all of your commons connected. So the two right here, I'm going to use those for my power. Going to connecting to my uh, plug. So on the opposite side, the ground here, I'm just going to bend out to the side. The common, I'm going to slip, slip it over into the other box. Now I'm going to go ahead, I didn't bend them over before because it would have made it harder to get them through the holes in the box out from the inside. But now that I'm ready to go in the other box, I'm going to go ahead and bend it over so I can connect it to the receptacle. So I'll just slip that across into the next box. Down here, the one on the left, I'm going to slip into the next box. The one on my right, I'm taking it all the way across to the box on the opposite side. Over here, this common simply goes up to the next box. And this one goes to the last box. Now I also have a ground on the opposite side right here. I'm going to connect these two together. Then out here on the side, I'm going to connect the three grounds here. That way, all my grounds will be connected. Both of these are going to be connected together and connected onto the power wire. Over here on the other side, same deal. All three of these will be connected together over here at the side. So now I'm going to flip it over. And to keep them from falling back out, I bent up a couple of the power wires on each one so that they wouldn't slide back out of the box when you were flipping them over one direction. So we're going to start up here on my common side, the wire coming in from the other box. Oh, it's a little hard to get to my big fat fingers. Let me grab it here with the needle nose. And you'll find when you're not trying to do it for the camera, it's a lot easier to get it done. But I have to try to keep the angles here where you guys can see. Pull that down good and tight.
Now on the back side, I also have the wire coming in from the other direction here that goes to the next one. So, I'll find it. And if making the wires a little longer would make it sensitive for you, do that. I'm just cheap, I hate to waste wire. You guys have got the idea now. Connect up all of your common wires in the uh, five boxes more here. So go ahead and do that, and I'll be right back.